guys, it's Mike. And Holly. And we've got something for the artist in you. <laughs> it's called Smart Sketcher Projector. And we do need to thank Flycatcher for sending this to us. Thank you. I am really excited. We're just kind of, we're just getting caught up on what this I'm is. So looking at the side of the box. So it's a projector. Mm -hmm. It comes preloaded with images. Yes. Right there. 50 plus images. You can sketch those. Mm -hmm. I guess it projects it down. It projects them down on the paper and so you, you just can trace follow it. it. Like I remember something like this when I was a kid and I thought that was the coolest thing and I never had one. And I cannot like draw, I cannot draw like <laughs> stick figures basically. So this is exciting for me because I've always wanted to be able to draw. Now you can and it'll look good. <laughs> you can also take your own pictures loaded onto this and then trace those pictures. So I'm I can totally take a picture of you and, and do it. I'm totally gonna do that. I'm gonna like take a picture of the kids and then trace it. And then something cool I saw, which would be good for Chelsea, mm -hmm. is like doing your learning your ABCs, writing, spelling. Yep. All that good stuff. So it's so educational. educational as well. It yep. says you can add color and watch your drawing come to life with sound and movement. Crazy. Right there. You can add filters so you can make your pictures look a little bit different. So, you know, kind of okay. like enhance them <laughs> in different Let's ways. Let's unbox this and see what this is all about. Okay, so here it is. Now, if you're getting this, this blue piece right here mm -hmm. was locked into here. So you have yeah. to slide that out. Kind so, of nice <laughs> for like storage. Initially, Holly's like, where is that piece? Don't know what's actually in there. Is this it supposed was to be a turtle? It looks Aww. like a turtle. I don't know if it is. <laughs> You're right. No, because that's like a turtle shell design. Yeah. Kind of neat. So oh. there's a little bit of creativity. There's that's where awesome. your light shines through. <laughs> We've got buttons here that do different things. Yes. Um, batteries. Okay, so this requires D batteries or sold separately. You can get an adapter, which is what we have. So that'll be handy dandy. Uh, a lot of people might have these like around it's the house. I'm not sure which volt. AC adapter. So well, there's different right. volts, so, uh, oh, okay, six volt. So another thing that's nice about this is if you don't play with it for, if you're after 10 minutes with no activity, it'll turn off, but you can reactivate it by using the app or pushing the, one of these buttons that's on the front. We have to learn what those do. And then you also and get this, which I'm guessing this is like maybe oh, the oh, preloaded stuff. Nice. Which looks like. Maybe it goes in there. Or maybe it's a way to, yeah, content card slot. I don't know which way it goes in, but oh, there we go. Just, ah, oh, now it looks like it's got eyeballs. He has eyes. The there turtle, we go. <laughs> the turtle has eyes. That is so cool. It does and have some like, rubber feet on the bottom so it doesn't move. Oh, I'm pushing this and it won't slide. That's good. So we have the adapter plug on the back as well as the on off switch and it says for more fun additional creativity learn a language alphabet packs are available at smartsketcher.com so you can check that out for more ideas as well so we've got our directions here we have to like download the app and learn how to use this thing oh we're not and doing then... it we're giving this to the kids we're gonna have the kids they're both little artists so we're gonna it. Up off. <laughs> you can play after they do okay i'll wait <laughs> Okay, Chelsea is going to try her hand at drawing a dolphin. So she's getting started already. Here, oh, well, you can do it that way, or it takes you step by step. Do you want to do it step by step? She's like already in deep concentration. She's like, I'm going to do my own. Whoa, you're doing all right. Okay, so you totally can do what Chelsea had done and just trace it. Or you can do step by step, which is what she's doing now. So first she did the nose. Now you press this button right here and it takes you to the next one. Okay, then you're gonna draw the top of the dolphin, so kind of its head. Good. All right, now push the button again. It takes you to the next thing. Dorsal fin. Okay, really good, now push it again. Top part of its tail. Nice. Okay, push it again. Good. Oh. Bottom part of its tail. Nice. Okay, push the button. Oh. The other part of its tail. Good. 
Don't. You're, nope, this part right here. See where it's red? There you go. And then look, it shows you an underwater scene behind it. So there's your dolphin under the water. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? So you can see it's blue and there's some bubbles there. Here, let me show everybody. I pulled it off and she said, oh my gosh, look at that. And this was Chelsea's first try. You did it, good job. What'd you make? Very. Oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> good job. Get to work. All right. Trace your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the nose. Okay, so it, it was kind of bright in here. Oh, no. <laughs> it was bright in here, so it was hard to it was hard to see, and I didn't want to unplug it because then that would get rid of the soil. So there were multiple shadows on it. So there's a comparison. <laughs> it works if you, you've got a really, really steady, really well lit, nice close up of the picture. Because there, you can see it works pretty good. Yeah, it was bright. And if you in work here. in a darker room, because it is somewhat light in here. Yeah, it was bright in here, and I couldn't, I couldn't really see it all that well. There you go. There's a picture of you. <laughs> okay, so there's a look at the smart art so sketcher smart. projector. <laughs> I really love this because I was never able to draw like very well, so this excites me. This was my first, it's a turtle, and Chelsea was pretty impressed by that. And then, let's see, what's this, a blank one. Chelsea drew the fairy, so cute. And where's the dolphin one? Cause that one was like, this was the first one that she did by herself and I thought it turned out pretty amazing. That's really good. That's a four, For almost four five year old. old. And she started on the ferry and she started on the dolphin. She's like, I messed up. I have to start over. <laughs> and it was really easy to just like push back and go back. This was my first drawing, which was the unicorn. Oh no, wait, the turtle was my first. This was my second and Chelsea was like in love. Now we asked Alex to draw Chelsea and she did. And I think it turned out pretty good. To be fair, it, it does look like a boy, but Chelsea had her hair up in a ponytail, so there was no <laughs> hair coming down. Then we asked Chelsea to draw Alex. <laughs> Still, again, really not bad for four years old. George Washington. Pretty good. <laughs> She's got or, a, be no, a beak uh, for a nose. Uh, George Frank or uh, Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. There you go. <laughs> Benny Franklin. And then I tried doing the same pictures myself, and I did Alex and Chelsea on the same one. I didn't finish Chelsea's hair because I was like, I'm not sure how to finish her hair. <laughs> like that's how bad I am at drawing. And I think they turned out pretty good. I like that you can take a picture of somebody or anything and be able to, you know, have it reflect down and draw it. Yeah. So if you wanted cool. a specific picture or something for your room, you could take a picture of it and then draw it yourself. And hang that it you home. could. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.